Hey guys, this is JB3 and we are back with another episode of FIFA 19 Career Mode Youth Edition featuring Morecambe FC and in this episode we will take on Tottenham who are number six on the table and then we'll go on and in the same week we'll take on Fulham. We also, as you can see, will take on Olympiacos in the upcoming Champions League matchup, so it'll be a good one to look forward to in the next episode. But let's focus on the Premier League, see if we can get in and get a victory here. It'll be tough. We'll have to rotate the squad. I don't even know if we'll run out the starters this week. Might have to give them the week off and just kind of rotate the squad as we can as we have that Champions League coming up soon. And we just took on PSG last Tuesday. So we'll get into the game against Tottenham. It will be a rotated squad. Most of the starters have pretty good stamina, so they're ready to play. So it will be Kumi, Vigara, Adebola, and Lakante across the back. Sarik, Burns, and Romano in the middle, with O'Grady, Dupont, and Miro up top leading the charge. And we'll get this game underway. Kane fights off Sark and tries to get into the box. He does as Sark keeps battling, trying to win that ball. Shot goes on, and Awazi sends it out early for an early corner kick. Oh, Grady turns it over as he tries to win the ball back. They get right into the box. Vagara misses it, and Awazi bails us out at the back as Kumi runs back to try and cover up the ball. Oh, and they launch a long shot and open us up. It's Deli Alley. Putting it in, it's Morecambe FC going down 1-0 here to Tottenham. Not a whole lot from either team, but Harry Kane lays it off. And they get it right through, and it bends right around Adebola as he tries to block the shot in a picture-perfect goal. Goes into the back of the net and opens us up 1-0. Kane drives forward, tries to get the ball off him. Is Romano. Romano on the edge of the box, breaks it up, and he has to pass it away. They control the edge of the box, and they get in. Romano misses with the tackle. Adipola fights back, loses his man, and Awazi makes the save. Kane pounces on it, though. Still in the box, dangerous area, and Awazi bails us out again, sends it out for another corner, and keeps Harry Kane out of the net. And that'll do it. Morecambe FC going to halftime, down 1-0. Not much offense to speak of. We'll have to try and get forward a little more, maybe missing Munn a little bit in this game with him on the bench resting for that Champions League matchup. All oh, right into the box. Adebola will chip it out of there and get it clear. It gets knocked down and right back to Harry Kane, and they're right back in. Vagara races down, cuts off the angle. Oh, and it just squeaks by Awazi, and it bounces into the back of the net. Vagara was there, and Awazi gets a big piece of it but unable to keep him out of the back of the net. And it's Morecambe FC down 2-0 here now in the 54th minute. So it'll be a corner kick to end this game. Tottenham send it in. It gets headed away. They take the shot, and it's handled by Awazi. But that'll do it. Morecambe FC go down to Tottenham 2-0. Just no offense at all to speak of in this game. I don't even know if we crack... Four shots, one on target, and we let up 15. And they just dominate us as we rotate our squad. It's Awazi with a 7.5, Lacante 7.5, Adabola 7.4, Vigara 6.8, Noak 6.1, Romano 7.0, Udom a 6.2, Durson a 6.0, Miro 6.2, Dupont 6.7, O'Grady 7.1, Sarig 6.1, Burns a 6.4, and Kumi a 6.2. And that'll do it for us here against Tottenham. So we'll get into the game here against Fulham. It will be our B squad going out. Nygaard, though, will come in for Miro as he just played that match here against Tottenham. So we'll get into this one, see if we can bounce back and pick up three points. And we'll get this game underway. Durson sends it off to Nygaard to open it up. Lays off Durson. Durson, edge of the box, looks for a pass, tries to drive in. Can each control it? No. Has to go back out. Looks for a pass. Gets it on to Nygaard now. Nygaard takes the shot. Can't get the loose ball as it deflects off the defender. Ross goes into Burns. Burns sends it right up to Jessen. Jessen can't fight off but does get the pass off to Nygaard. He has a shot and puts it in. And Nygaard opens it up. It's 1-0. Morecambe FC as he puts in the goal. Might be his first one with the team. 
and Morkham FC are off and rolling here. It's one to nil. We finally get something off. Not a whole lot of offense, not a whole lot happening for either team. A lot of it played in the midfield. The final third's been tough on each one. Burns, though, drops it off to Jessen, and he just is able to get that pass off and through to Nygaard. And it's right on, and he gets one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Puts it past him, and it's 1-0. Krejci carries it up, goes to Durson. He'll move through and gets it off into Jessen. Jessen now, edge of the box, looks to get through the defense, drives in, has a shot, and knocked away, though, by the keeper. And out for a corner kick. Nygaard down the wing, sends it into Lekkonen. Lekkonen controls the ball and now is off to Nygaard again. Nygaard trying to drive through, has to cut in and get around the defense now. Goes to Durson, who has the ball, controlled around the box, sends it along to Burns. He has a shot and off the post he goes. And a great opportunity to put one home and missed by Burns. And that'll do it, Morkum FC. In a pretty slow game so far in the first half. Take the lead, though. 1-0 into halftime. Oh, they get right behind us. Magnuson pokes it away, and they won't call a penalty. And Karichi sends it off Sessignon. Out for a corner kick. A big play by Magnuson to get back and block that shot, which would have been a surefire goal. Ross knocks it down to Magnuson. Magnuson gets it right back off to Burns. Burns. Centers it off to Donahue. He'll send it in, and Nygaard has a chance and knocked away by the keeper. Just tries to chip it over him, but can't quite beat the keeper out for a corner kick. Hennessy goes right up to Orlana, shoots it through to Jessen. Jessen can't control, goes back to Orlana now, edge of the box on the Ross, sends it across. Nygaard's there, but knocked away and would have been the final touch of the game, but this will be it, the corner kick. Will end it. Ross sends it in. Looking for something, and it just goes wide, but that'll do it. Morecambe FC fight off and get the victory and the three points here against Fulham. It's the clean sheet for Fuentes. 11 shots, 5 on target. We only allow Fulham to have three and a dominating performance after a not-so-good one. Nygaard gets the man of the match with a 9.0, or Alana a 6.4. Ross a 7.7, .7, Jessen 8.3, Lekkonen 6.5, Durson 8.0, Burns 7.6, Fuentes 7.3, Exilos 7.9, Karichi 7.8, Zaytev 7.6, Magnuson 7.5, Donahue 6.9, Hennessy 6.8, and that'll do it for us here at the Globe Arena against Fulham. So it's a pretty slow episode, not a whole lot of action, but we do pick up at least the one win, and Man United seem like they have fallen off now a little bit, picking up more draws than they are wins, and we see ourselves still eight points above them here in the table as we come down the home stretch towards the end of April. And it's Morkham FC leading the way. But guys, that'll do it for us here in this episode. Before we get ready to go on and take on Champions League in the next episode, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, guys, have a good one.